This is uh, Alison Marie Rivera, who died at 18 years old on October 22nd, 2011. She was a lifelong Shanahan resident and attended Minoko High School. And uh, she was an avid writer, wrote poems and short stories, and she loved animals. This is uh, Alicia Valerio Vega, born June 23, 1977, died on February 7, 2019. There is no record online of the cause of death, but it, she is quite beautiful, you can see. She died at the age of 14 <coughs> in 1933. You can't look her up on online because she's been dead for so long. There's no record, but she lived a short life. And look at the picture. Looks like this was taken taken in the uh, the 20s. Darling daughter Catherine Naden. This is Emily Dukovic, born April 9, 1993, and died on March 8, 2010. She was killed in an auto accident. She was a passenger, and her friend was driving the car, and they hit a, uh, a pickup truck. Since she was, she was a passenger, uh, she was in the part of the car that, that experienced the most damage and she was killed instantly. Her two friends uh, lived, but they're shaken up over her death. This is Andrew Guiadrone. He was a star athlete at Joliet Catholic High School. And he suddenly passed away. He died of a heart attack at age 20 while playing basketball. This was in September 18th, 2011. How pretty sad that you, you rarely hear someone dying of a heart attack at that age. But here he lies. Beloved daughter and sister, Danielle S. Monchalfin, born on Ju July 14, 1978, and died on June 3, 1995. She was 17 when she died. There's no record of her cause of death. Could have been a car accident. Usually, that's how they usually go on a. But I don't know. But she is quite beautiful. Look at that. Uh, picture of her close up. Here lies Richard J. Purvin, uh, born on November 22, 1981, Dar died on March 18, 2013. He died in Indianapolis, Indiana. From what I don't know, but he was 31 years old when he died. He was a lifelong Joliet resident, avid outdoorsman, and a mixed martial arts. Uh, he was into mixed martial arts. So he's a good looking guy. Died really young. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce his name because I'm probably not going to get it right. But he lived a long life. And obviously that was uh, that picture of him was, was he, when he was younger, but quite a good looking guy. Here lies Stephen P. Hiller Sr. It's, I stopped here because I saw the picture of him probably taken in the 70s or early 80s. 
because nobody has that hairstyle today. But he died in 2014. He pretty much lived a long life. I, I wouldn't complain. <laughs> this is Christopher Kobe, born on July 22, 1993, and died on Jan January 11, 2011, of cancer. He was a uh, resident of Crest Hill and loved basketball and sports and music. And he, he dealt with a two-year battle of cancer, which he, he lost, sadly. And here he lies. He's quite a good-looking kid. This concludes my visit to the St. Mary's Nativity Cemetery in Crest Hill. There's another cemetery across the street. It's quite unusual. I'm going to check it out right now. So I bid you peace.